What's up, everybody? Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook here at the 2019 NFL Scouting Combine. Day one, coaches and GMs were speaking today at the podium. So here's some of the sights, some of the sounds, and a lot of what they said today here in Indy. How are we doing, guys? Good, coach. Uh, yeah. How impressed have you been with Dak Prescott's growth over the course of the three seasons? Oh, I've been really impressed uh, with Dak, really right from day one. Um, you know, we got to know him uh, through the draft process and with just a, such an impressive young man. And then when we got him, you know, just at, at every turn, he just handled everything so well. Uh, you know, as you know, as a rookie, you know, Tony Romo got hurt and he had the opportunity to, to start for us and obviously did a great job and, and handled the successes and the adversities of that year uh, really, really well. And, and since then has really emerged as a leader on our team. Uh, he's an outstanding player. He's getting better and better and better. And uh, a lot of that has to do with the kind of person he is. How does that growth and development go for a quarterback that didn't take the traditional route going in the first round? So it's rare to see that guy in the later rounds come and develop into a premier starter. Yeah, I, I think really for everybody, it's all about you know maximizing your potential. And uh, regardless of wh where you were drafted and where you came from, it, it's all about taking full advantage of that opportunity. And we try to provide a structure for our players to be able to do that. Uh, we try to provide a competitive environment where we don't uh, put too much stock into when a guy was drafted. It's more about what they do once they get there. And I think Dak's a great example of that. Well, Coach, speaking of Michael Gallup as a young player, that really what we're doing, uh, did a good job with our quarterbacks last year. And, uh, you know, we understand that he's not a really experienced coach right now. And, and hopefully we'll create a good environment and structure around him to help him grow in the role. But we have a lot of confidence in him. And, you know, one of the other things about Kellen that's positive is, you know, he's relatively young. He was a great college football player, and he's close to the college game. And, and I think if you follow the NFL, so many of the so many of the trends in the NFL are trickling up from high school football and from college football. So I think Kellen has a, a real good feel for those kinds of things that hopefully can can help our offense. In regards to John Kitna, you know, John was with us as a quarterback, had a great career. Uh, in, a, in a few different spots, but we we're fortunate to have him, you know, with the Cowboys and made such a positive impact on our team. He played really well for us when he got opportunities, uh, but he had such a positive impact on his teammates and everybody else in our organization. Uh, been a very successful high school coach recently, but 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 Kit knows football. He knows people. He knows NFL organizations. He knows how to bring the best out and, and the guys around him. So excited to have him on board. I wanted to get him on board for the last few years and finally worked out uh, for us. I think he's really going to help our team. Do you relate to what you did? You, had to, you went from quarterbacks coach to offensive coordinator. I mean, that's the first time. Well, again, I, was, I had a very similar experience at Kellen. I was a young coach, and I got an opportunity to be a coordinator. And I think the biggest thing I learned is that it was a collaborative process. You know, you think about the guys we had in the room when I was the offensive coordinator in 2007. Tony Sperano was the line coach, one of the best coaches I've been around, one of the best people I've been around. Uh, Wade Wilson was our quarterback coach. A teammate of mine, uh, just a really well-respected guy. You know, those guys had a huge impact on what we're doing. Skip Pete was there, John Garrett was there, Ray Sherman was there, uh, Wes Phillips was there. A lot of really good coaches, and it was a collaborative effort. You know, those guys guided me in directions. Uh, you know, maybe when I was going off course a little bit, I had a pretty firm idea of what we wanted to be all about. Uh, but those guys certainly helped that process, and I, and I do think we're going to try to create a very similar dynamic with Kellen. We've got a lot of veteran coaches in, in that room who he's going to benefit from being around and experienced guys who've done it before. And I think the collaborative process will help our team uh, really play, to, play at the highest level. Do you kind of have an idea when Scott kind of cut the cord a little bit and say we, we've tried and it's just not going to work? Oh, I think there's certainly a point, uh, you know, with different players. We don't think we're at that point with Randy right now for all the reasons I, I described. Uh, he's a good person who's worked very hard to kind of get this problem under control, so we'll continue to try to support him. What are the next steps for him and for the team? Well, he's not going to be able to be, be with the team. He's suspended indefinitely, so there are a lot of rules that come with that. Uh, he's not allowed to participate in the off-season program and some other very specific things. But, you know, he'll continue to work and try to get professional help for his issues. And, and I do believe he's made great strides in this area. And uh, the way it's been explained to me is sometimes relapse is part of rehab. And, uh, you know, I think that's something he'll continue to work through. Unfortunately, you know, the NFL has this, uh, this policy that sometimes suspends players in these situations. But we'll continue to try to support him. I know he's working very hard to get his issues under control. Coach, you guys do a great job of... From uh, Blake Jarwin uh, last year, is, is 
is he still ascending and might he ascend to, to the point where he can go part Yeah, of but Blake did an excellent job for us. And we had a lot of optimism for him when we signed him as a free agent a couple of years back. You know, he comes from a receiving background, so he had to learn a lot of the, the tight end stuff. And uh, he's worked very hard to do that, to be a complete tight end for us. And he's another great example of a young player who had an opportunity to play and really learn from his experiences early on throughout the season. A lot of positive stuff that he could build on, but some, some, some bumps in the road as well. And, and, and I think he got stronger and tougher as a result of those experiences, became a more confident player. And if you watched him play over the last half of the year, made a lot of big plays for us, impactful plays, and we expect that to continue. He's still a young player who's developing, uh, but he's got, a, he's got a really bright future. Coach, you guys do a great job of developing players, and that's a great example of that. How are you able to strike that balance of developing while also trying to win and also dealing with, what, a 46-man roster, really 42 on game day if you take out long snipers and guys like that? Yeah, you know, I think every team has that, that, those kinds of challenges. You know, the balance between the established cornerstone-type players who played a lot of snaps in this league and then developing some younger guys. And, you know, the thing that, that, that could probably causes that to be a challenge for everybody is, is simply the salary cap and the business part of the NFL. You can't have everybody. You can't have all these veteran players who make a lot of money and uh, and you have to find ways to get your team younger. You know, I think if you look at our team, I think we're the youngest or maybe the second youngest team in the National Football League last year. We had a lot of young players and we think that's a good thing. Uh, they worked very hard over the course of the season. I think they learned from their experiences. They got better and we played our best football the second half of the year. A couple of years back, you know, he comes from a receiving background, so he had to learn a lot of the, the tight end stuff. And uh, he's worked very hard to do that, to be a complete tight end for us. And he's another great example of a young player who had an opportunity to play and really learn from his experiences early on throughout the season. A lot of positive stuff that he could build on, but some, some, some bumps in the road as well. And, and, and I think he got stronger and tougher as a result of those experiences, became a more confident player. And if you watched him play over the last half of the year, made a lot of big plays for us, impactful plays, and we expect that to continue. He's still a young player who's developing, uh, but he's got, a, he's got a really bright future. Coach, you guys do a great job of developing players, and that's a great example of that. How are you able to strike that balance of developing while also trying to win and also dealing with, what, a 46-man roster, really 42 on game day if you take out long snipers and guys like that. Yeah, you know, I think every team has that, that those kinds of challenges. You know, the balance between the established cornerstone type players who played a lot of snaps in this league and then developing some younger guys. And, you know, the thing that, that, that could probably causes that to be a challenge for everybody is, is simply the salary cap and the business part of the NFL. You can't have everybody. You can't have all these veteran players who make a lot of money and uh, and you have to find ways to get your team younger. You know, I think if you look at our team, I think we're the youngest or maybe the second youngest team in the National Football League last year. We had a lot of young players and we think that's a good thing. Uh, they worked very hard over the course of the season. I think they learned from their experiences. They got better and we played our best football the second half of the year. Coach, what's earlier about their